Hey YouTube. Um, it's um the it's our first video from the rover mission. Today we're going to be doing a review on a real famous rover. This is Brookstone's wireless rover. It's um has its own Wi-Fi. It may gen generate its own Wi-Fi. So it's basically a Wi-Fi spy tank sort somewhat. Um, this is uh, you can buy this from Brookstone's website or um, at the store for a hundred dollars right now but it's normally a hundred and fifty so if you want it you should buy it now um so what you see here is the actual rover but this is where it all goes down on your uh, apple device which is an iphone ipad or um ipod touch generate um first or second generation i mean sorry third or fourth generation you can connect it so here we have um our wi-fi these are the two Wi-Fi connections. The, you see the AC13. Those are the two Wi-Fi's for both our tanks over here and over here. These are our two tanks we have. So these um you have to connect it to Wi-Fi. I'm connecting it to that tank. So I want to go back and then go to the app I downloaded. It's free from the App Store. You just search Rover. It'll it's like the first one there, and then it comes up with this picture, and it's. To control, it's fairly easy. There's two front buttons go forward, two back buttons go backwards. One of one direction makes the rover pivot, and same with the other side. And a turn like this, you can go like that. So, um, it's fairly easy to control. Um, you can only control one rover at a time, but that's no problem if you have more than one device like me. So. The first feature you see here is just the information. It's pretty basic, not not much. It's just firmware, device, carport, techy stuff. Here is the G drive. The G drive is a really bad feature that is supposed to make your oh my God, your rover be controlled by using the iPod or your iDevice. Um, it's fairly easy. As you see here, I'm just not using the actual soft buttons on the iPad I'm tilting the actual tilting the actual rover so that's really bad but that's it um you can take a picture so you take a picture it saves onto your device's photo library this is to make a path which is a pretty cool feature I thought so you press to make a path button and then you can make the rover for example spin like I'm doing over there and then I just stop it whenever I want to it default stops at 30 seconds I click it again to stop recording and I play. And if you see the rover, it's going to move on its own. I'm not doing anything. Not touching it. It's moving on its own. And at the end, it'll just stop moving. So here is another feature. It's the recordings of the sound. Um, it only records sound when you're actually stopped. So if, you do, if you're moving, you can't record sound. Um, or listen, technically. Yeah, you can't listen. Or, well, you can't record sound. You can only listen to sound. And what I have to say is the best feature about this thing, which is the military-grade, um, military-grade, uh, military-grade, um, uh, night vision. The night vision is on the camera over here, you see? It's, the second camera here shoots a special ultraviolet light that is not seen with, um, human eyes. But what happens is, for example, if I was to turn it off, on the iPad, I turn it off, lights, you can't see anything, except the crack underneath the door, but, so I'm going to point, if you look over here at the rover, nothing's happening, and then I'm going to turn on ultraviolet, it's the light, and it gets bright up, but if you look at the rover, nothing happened, so if you get a double shot of the iPad and the rover, get a shot of both of them together, you'll see if I turn it off, nothing happens. The rover, nothing happens on either side. On, nothing happens. Off, nothing happens. Same with the front. On, nothing happens. Off, nothing happens. So, that is a quick review on the um, Brookstone's Wi-Fi controlled rover. You can buy this for a hundred dollars at online at Brookstone or on um, pretty much anywhere you wanted to. Um, before um we go. I just want to talk about the design of the rover. As you see, the rover is very slick. It only detachable part is the antenna. 
it only comes with one color choice, and it's white, which pretty much sucks, because anything you're doing, you can't do it outside, because otherwise this thing turns black and brown. Um, it's very strong. I've driven it down my stairs many times, and um, it's overall really good. So, there are a few cons to this. The first con is that the G drive sucks. It's not useful at all. Um, the sound is only working when you're stopped. And if you want to show someone really fast, as you see here, the blue light to show is the wireless is on. It takes a minute or so to actually turn on. So, other than that, it's really good. It's worth the money if you were to buy it. But just remember that you should have an iDevice with you so that you could use it. So thank you. Please subscribe, favorite, and comment on our videos. And we'll be making some more shortly. Also, it's also a pretty good present for someone that has an iDevice. Yeah. Um, if it's a kid. Yeah. This is also actually very good for adults. Or in the office, you could spy on your colleagues. Or you could um, just... Maybe put like a little cup holder on the side and go get some water from the ice cooler or something. So, please subscribe, favorite, and um, come back for our next videos. Thank you.